Welcome back, and this is part two. Um, so here's my uh, SketchUp model, and you can see I've got a teeny tiny car in there. Um, all right, so I'm going to export it out of SketchUp and bring it into uh, Blender. So I'm going to come up here and click on the little folder icon, and I'm going to choose Export, and the only option for a 3D model uh, in the free version of SketchUp is an STL. So I'm going to click on STL, and it's just going to directly download. There we go. And now I'm going to go here to Blender, um, and I am in the game engine. Uh, I'm going to press X and delete the cube. So you need to turn on the Blender game engine, so that's up here, choose Blender game. And then there are, um, I do have uh, another video on my YouTube channel about setting up the Blender game engine, or setting up the, the Blender uh, program for the game engine. And it goes over all the settings, but the quick ones are this. Over here on the right hand side, you want to click on the little camera icon that's called the rendering panel and you want to scroll down and right here under shading, you want to turn on GLSL. Okay. All right. So with that, all right. So now I'm going to come up here, click on file, import, and hopefully you see this option here that says STL. Uh, so click on that and then I'm going to go to my downloads folder. Your file will either be on your um, downloads folder or on your desktop folder. So here's mine right here. And there are some options here about importing. I'm just gonna leave those like they are. And I'll go ahead and say import STL. Um, now you can see it's ginormously huge. Um, it's really, 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 really big. So the very first thing I do is I'm not gonna zoom out. I'm just gonna move my mouse away. S for scale. And I'm just gonna very slowly start scaling it in. And when I get close to the center here, I'm just going to click and then I'll scale again. S, scale it down and you can see it's working now. And there it is scaling down and you can see the car is included as well. Now, here's an interesting uh, challenge here. OK, so you can see that the car is part of the um, building mesh. Um, thank goodness Blender has a um, separate tool. And so I will show you that in a bit. Um, all right, so let's uh, let's tackle this. I'm going to go ahead and save this in Blender now, just so I don't lose anything. So save this to my desktop as a window demo 3D, and there we go. All right, cool. So I'm going to tab into edit mode, and you your first thing you'll notice is that when an object comes in from SketchUp, you'll notice that there's a lot of extra geometry and things like that. It does look a little messy for those of you that are my students, um, but don't worry about it. Um, everything is still there. Everything works. You can see here's our window here. It was a square in SketchUp, but it um, did something called triangulating. Um, okay, so how do we make these uh, faces look like glass? And then I'll deal with the car. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here and I'm going to shift right mouse click and I'm going to select these four vertices that make up the window opening here. And then I'm going to press F to make it a face. Okay. So that's now a face. So that's how you can patch up empty openings and stuff like that. Okay. Now I'm going to come over here on the right hand side and I'm going to click on the material panel and I'm going to go ahead and add in a new material and I'm going to call that material a uh, building. And we'll just go ahead and we'll make this a, um, I don't know, kind of a beige color here. Something like that for maybe stucco. Um, and there we go. And I'm just going to basically select the whole building and I'm going to click on this button here that says assign. And so now uh, the entire building, including the windows, everything has been assigned that building material. Now, if you can't see the building material, um, you can come down here and click on this little button here and you can choose um, you can choose material. And there you go. You'll see that uh, everything now has that brownish color there. Now, if your lighting is weird, like mine is, I'm going to press tab and hop back into object mode. I'm going to select the light. Okay. And I'm going to come over here and I'm going to click on the light panel. And I'm going to change it to a sun. Um, and the sun, you can then go ahead and grab it and move it. You can rotate it so that way it's um, angling the, direct, the, the right direction. Mine is looking okay. And I'm just going to add in right now a quick ground plane just so that way you can see the shadows and we can see what the heck is going on. All right, there we go. So that looks a little bit better. All right. 
something like that. All right, let's select the object, go back into edit mode. All right, so now um, I want to jump into face mode. So you can just come right down here at the bottom of your 3D window and click on this button right here, do face. Um, on your keyboard, you can also press control tab and bring up this little menu and do it that way. Um, so I'm going to select this face and then I'm going to hold down the shift key and select these two faces. Then I'm going to come over here to my materials panel and I'm going to click on the little plus button to make a new material. I'm going to click on new and I'm going to go ahead and call this uh, glass. And um, I'm going to choose assign. So now those two have it and you can see that they've been assigned that. And if I deselect, you can see that they're gray and everything else is that brown color. Now, obviously, um, I haven't done these guys over here yet. I'll just do a few of them just for time's sake, just so you can see, because I don't want to waste your time in doing all of them. But I'll just do a few of them. And so I've got them selected. I just come over here, click on the glass material and hit assign. OK, so now here's the cool thing. I can now come over here with the glass material selected and I can change the diffuse, which is the color, and I can go with maybe a very light blue. And you'll see that they will automatically all change that color. So you can change it at any time. The key is to select them and hit assign. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go back in object mode and I'm gonna place some objects inside the building so you can just see that the glass material is becoming semi-transparent. So I'm gonna go ahead and shift A and I'm gonna add in a monkey. I'm just gonna scale the monkey down a little bit. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate the monkey just so I have a couple. I'm gonna do Shift D. Then I'm gonna press Y so that way I've got a second monkey and let's just make a third one so I can see it there. All right, I'm gonna select all three monkeys and just put them inside the building. Again, this is not so that it's pretty. It's just so that we can actually see that the glass is semi-transparent. All right, so now that you can see, if I press P for play, you can see that um, the glass materials are not set up. You can also see that the uh, faces for the window frame on the right-hand side are flipped. You can actually see through them. Um, and so that's a whole nother step. Um, I'll try to fit that in towards the end here. All right, so I'll press escape and get out of play mode. Select my building, get back into edit mode. All right, so now if you look over here, focus your attention on the right-hand side, I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna show you how to set up basic glass. Now it's not great, but it is semi-transparent. So for the diffuse, let's start at the top. I suggest that you lower the intensity down. Um, start with it at about halfway, so about 0.5. Now you can click, you can left click and drag inside this slider box and just drag it manually. Or if you want a specific number, or if that drives you crazy, you simply left click inside once, it highlights the number, and then you can type in 0.5 and press return. Make sure you press return. Okay, so now we're not getting quite such a strong color. Now let's go down for specularity. Remember, that's the shine. I'm going to go ahead and up that a little bit, maybe 0.75. And again, that's how shiny your glass is. I'm going to then scroll down, and I'm going to go to the category. Let me close a couple of these categories. Um, I'm going to go to the category right here, transparency. You'll notice that the checkbox is off. You have to click that on and click on it to open it up. Okay, so here's the key. So watch this little preview up here. And so you'll see that under transparency, you want to leave it on Z transparency. And you're going to see a little slider here that says alpha. And right now it's set to one, which is 100%. And if I click and drag it, you will see up in the preview there, we can actually see that checkerboard pattern going through it. So I think a low number of maybe 0.3 is a good place to start. And there you go. Um, all right, so now if I press, uh, let me um, let me tab back out of edit mode. And to edit the materials, you don't have to be in edit mode, which is also really nice. So it looks really dark there, but if I press P for play, you can see that we are actually seeing through there and we can see the silhouettes of the um, building. So you're seeing another thing. It looks like we can actually see through our building, um, which looks terrible. And I'm not going to fix it in this video because it is a it is a fix. But what happens is in Blender Game Engine, um, Blender sees those walls as paper thin because they're only as thick as one face. Um, and that's because that's how we model them inside SketchUp. So the best way to do it 
and I'll make another video for this. The best way to do it is in SketchUp, give your walls thickness. They need to have some actual thickness, like real walls, um, and then when they come into Blender, uh, if you have windows, uh, you will be able to see an inside. So right now there's no inside, so the Blender game engine doesn't even see an inside. Now if, you're ne if you don't have any windows and you're never gonna see the inside of your building, don't model an inside, okay? All right, uh, a couple other things here to make them a little bit more uh, glass-like. Over here, there is a um, category here called shading, and there's a slider here called emit. And if you add in just a little bit of emit, and um, that means emission, and so you'll see that it just kind of brightens up the glass. It makes it look like light is kind of bouncing around from inside, um, which is when the sun is shining, um, you get that. And so that's just a small little thing, and it does help. Um, so these are the basics. You, again, you can play around with some of the options. Um, I will try to make another video that has the insides of the buildings, and I'll show you how to model the insides of the buildings, and then bring it over here so that you can see how it does truly look much better. But these are the basics of glass. You can see that it does have the basics of glass. Of course, you can change all the settings all you want and play around with it, but hopefully this gets you started in the right direction. All right, I wish you luck, and I will see you next time.